hey guys welcome to any Colts productions and welcome to my latest video here now in this video i'm once again going to go ahead and unbox a few um camera accessories that i've gone ahead and picked up for my canon t4i so here you can see is my canon rebel t4i that i have in front and for it i have gone ahead and picked up uh, a few accessories which will basically help me take better pics and shoot better video so yeah firstly let me just go ahead and grab the bill or the invoice so here it is now the first thing on our list is uh, basically a Zykos battery grip for the Canon Rebel T2i, T3i, T4i and since uh, the T5i also shares the same body as the rest of the cameras it also works on the T5i and uh, to be specific it is the Zykos ZE CB GT2 battery grip and let me just go ahead and grab it and here you can see this is the packaging that it comes in and uh, this cost me let me go ahead and check the price on the invoice 32.49 uh, dollars 32 and 49 cents 32 dollars and 49 cents and here it is and i purchased it uh, with along with a few other accessories as well because i saved on shipping costs but yeah here it is the zykos it's one of uh chinese manufactured uh battery grips it isn't the oem one but uh, it's said to be one of the better uh aftermarket battery grips for the uh, rebel series and as you can see it's uh, called the professional multi power battery grip and like i said it goes with all the rebel line one year limited warranty and yeah here you can see the picture of the item on the box in front and moving around you can see a few brandings and once again the name and a few other details on the back you can see the once again diagrams of the battery grip itself and you can see some key features which i'll quickly read out such as effectively doubles your battery life um yeah battery cartridge holds two lpe8 batteries okay vertical uh firing release uh AA cartridge holds six AA batteries and significantly improves stabilization and that basically sums up what exactly this battery grip does firstly it helps obviously double your battery life since it uh, takes two lpe8 batteries uh, that that's um, very effective if you're doing long shoots such as and especially if you're using the um, the the video uh, aspect of the camera a lot because the, your lcd tends to remain all on all the time and therefore the battery tends to drain pretty quickly so yeah so let me just go ahead and open it up quickly So I've just gone ahead and pulled up this tab and let's go ahead and open it. And here we go. So firstly we have some packaging material which I'll go ahead and put aside. And moving it to the box. Firstly what we get is some sort of... Let's see what this is. Okay this is probably the compartment that holds your battery batteries in. The LPA batteries. Let's go ahead and remove this. Looks like a contact point here. Three uh, pin contacts. And I'll put this aside for now, for moving in a bit further. Um, then I probably think this is the battery grip itself. Let's go ahead and put this aside and see what else we get. We get one more protection for your contact. Uh, some packaging material. And uh, uh, basically a pamphlet or a manual. So this gives you some pretty detailed instructions on the functions of the battery grip and where all the features and points and uh, contacts are located. And this seems to be pretty detailed in comparison to some, some other OEM uh, uh, battery grip uh, companies. So if you want uh, to ever uh, know how to use this, you can obviously refer to this. Uh, so yeah, putting that aside, let's go ahead and see the main grip itself. Comes nicely packaged in this bubble wrap it while shipping putting this side here is the battery grip itself guys so yeah let me just go ahead and show you this putting this side um, so firstly uh, what I notice is the material of the grip and let me just go ahead and grab my T4i to show you guys what I'm talking about so if you see the material on the, the grip of the T4i here uh, this material matches very very closely to the material uh, found here and to be honest it feels a bit more grippy than the material originally found on the T4i itself. Uh, really really grippy. Should help you for holding it like this and here you can see all the buttons. The main button here is your shutter release. Here's your command dial. 
uh, it's a little mushed but not it's not bad it's a little mushed compared to the original Canon one but would do the job there you can hear it as well and the buttons here wow they're clicky to be honest they're they're better feeling than the buttons found on the 60d and the 70d the 70d has really really uh, spongy mushy buttons and these are much much tactile you can hear the clicking noise so let me just go ahead and you can hear that and here is a button to turn it on and off you can turn the controls of the battery grip on and off uh, according to your preference and here is the the dial to lock it it locks in using this tripod uh, tripod screw and goes into the bottom of your camera and let's go ahead and pull out the battery compartment and it should hold the slot holding the six AA batteries and there you go you can put in six AA batteries and it should work just as uh, well as the LPE8 ones so yeah and let's go ahead and remove this protection for your contacts and all these come with protection for your contacts so in case you're traveling with them you can obviously go ahead and protect them so let's go ahead and show you guys how it goes on onto your Canon T4i let me just go ahead and remove the lens for a minute uh, to show you exactly uh, to give you a better picture so I'll go, go ahead and grab my lens caps so I'll just go ahead and unscrew the lens here is the lens go ahead and put this aside and close this and now we can go ahead and mount our battery grip so to mount your battery grip you obviously have to get rid of this compartment here and in order to do that all you need to do is go ahead and pull this remove your battery obviously we'll use this in a battery grip a bit later and then what we need to do is slightly gently uh, just pull this uh, compartment you don't need to apply much force I've tried it before it doesn't take much force at all so in case you find yourself applying a lot of force you're probably doing it wrong you just need to go ahead and slightly pull it and it should it's meant to come out so it comes out pretty easily and this has a special place to put in to prevent it from getting lost and you see this compartment here it's meant for uh, this uh, battery door so you can simply go ahead and put this in and it goes in like so and you can uh, forget about it then because uh, you won't misplace it in short and then in order to put the battery grip in all you need to do is okay before i put it in i want to go ahead and show you the batteries that i'll be using with it so i can obviously go ahead and use six AA batteries but uh, uh, i i prefer using the lpe8 so i have my one canon lpe8 battery here which i'll be using in it I have also gone ahead and picked up my second item, which is a Fortive LPE8 battery. This is said to be one of the better aftermarket uh, batteries for the Canon uh, cameras. And to show you how much this cost, let me just go ahead and grab my invoice once again. And uh, it says it costs me around $15. So it's really, really cheap, guys. Uh, compared to the original OEM batteries, it's much, much cheaper. And let me just go ahead and show you something astounding. Um, if you can see here, it's only a 7.2 volt and uh, 1120 milliamp hour. While as this is a 7.4 volt and 1700 milliamp hour battery. So it just show you, shows you how much value you get. And this has some really, really great reviews as well. And it's, some say it even last, outlasts uh, the battery life and the... Uh, battery health on the original can uh, battery so yeah you can almost pick up uh, um, pr probably a couple or at least three of these for uh, an, a cost of uh, one original battery so let me just go ahead and remove my second battery and here you can see how it comes back that's pretty much that comes uh, what comes in the packaging it's so nothing else this is pretty much it i didn't expect anything else as well so yeah and here once again it has this protection over it so yeah and this will also charge with your original Canon charger. And once you remove the protection, here you can see the two side by side. Other than the color, there's not much that uh, can differentiate them and the branding, of course. They're similarly specced, similarly sized. Of course, uh, the 4T1 is a much higher capacity, but other than that, uh, they're pretty identical. So to show you how these go in, you can simply put these into your 
compartment like so and these will go into place pretty easily and they will not fall out there you can see they are not falling out and then uh, you need to make sure your tab is out and then you can simply go ahead and push this into the compartment and then once it's gone in uh, all you need to go do is go ahead and make sure it's in and then twist and push it in to close and there you can see it's nice and snug it's not protruding out and now you can go ahead and simply push this into place and once you pushed it you need to start turning this dial here and I'm rotating it from the back it should go on pretty snugly and I don't want to over tighten it to prevent it from breaking or something and I, I think I managed to put it on uh, nice and snugly let's go ahead and see if there's any flex and I'm putting quite a bit of force no flexing whatsoever guys a slight minute bit of flexing might be there but that's under extreme pressure so in short it's a very very well designed battery grip it goes on pretty well and i'm i'm pretty sure you'll be pretty satisfied with this battery grip at least as of now you can see the color also matches very much the color of the canon t4i so some of the battery grips have a really disgusting uh, color on them and i that basically just spoils the look of the camera but this is not uh, one of those battery grips you as you can see the color matches the one on the canon body very nicely uh, as well as this is a really really grippy feel to it and let me just go ahead and show you the functions and how it works so as you can see it's off right now so if I turn it on it should be powered by the battery grips there you can see the camera has turned on and now it's running off the power from the battery grip and there you can see the control for your buttons on your battery grip on or off if you want to use them you'll simply have to turn them on and this should allow you to use these buttons now so let's go ahead and turn live view on and since I don't have a lens on uh, it won't be taking any pictures but it you, you should still hear the shutter uh, go off so let me just go ahead and click this and the shutter should go off and you should be able to hear it there you could hear that that's been powered by this shutter release here once again powered by the shutter release and these buttons work as well so let me just go ahead and show you the changing uh, shutter speed while using this command dial so there you can see the shutter speed changes and I'm using this command dial and everything works guys that goes the same with these now if I press uh, this button here and turn the command dial uh, it should change my uh, what do you call it uh, my uh, aperture but uh, since my uh, I don't have a lens it will change nothing but in theory you should be able to change your aperture as well and yeah that that's how the uh, battery grip is and it also adds a bit uh, vertical uh, allows you to hold it in vertical position as well and it also helps it gives you a much better feeling in the hand when you're holding it in landscape orientation it also adds a bit of weight to it it feels much heftier now and to show you how it looks in from the front there you can see it almost looks like now what a, a sort of a full frame camera would it's not as comparably size still to a full frame but uh, it makes look a bit more bulkier so people uh, from far might think maybe he's holding a full frame camera but nevertheless uh, it adds a bit of stabilization so in, in case you're tending to using much heavier lenses uh, for example uh, I have a really heavy Vivitar FD lens which I plan to use on this body so if I use that it'll probably help uh, balance out the weight on the lens and the body so yeah that's another great use of this battery grip so this is pretty much it for this video guys and uh, hopefully let me just go ahead and mount the lens and show you how the whole package looks this is my regular 18 to 55 millimeter lens there you can see mounted turn this off and there you can see the whole package how it looks on the side how it looks from the back how it looks from the front looks pretty nice adds a bit of weight really liking it as of now so this was my quick hands-on unboxing and first impressions on the Zykos uh, 
battery grip for the rebel series as well as the Fortive battery um this is pretty much it as of now but in future i'll probably be updating these reviews and uh on my experience with these uh, items so yeah and if you guys like this video guys you can obviously go ahead and subscribe and for more such videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel as of now this is pretty much it thanks guys for watching this ending quote peace out